Hi everyone, my name is Alexander and I'm a senior engineer for the ISTC group at GitLab. So in this demo I would like to present you the recent changes we've made and code suggestions to improve the quality of uh, completions for Python. So let's just code together to solve a, a very simple task. And for example, let's just um, let's just implement, uh, let's just translate our messages from English to, to French and Spanish using the predefined vocabulary. And to solve this task, we probably need to implement uh, an interface, which is an abstract class in Python, a concrete implementation for the French localizer, for the Spanish one. Let's also implement a factory method and just uh, a loop to iterate over the mm, hard-coded messages that we would like to translate to either to French or to Spanish. So let's start. And first, we need to create a, mm, an abstract class for the uh, base uh, localizer. So first, let's import uh, the ABC dependency. Dependency, right, so we can do like that. Yeah, here we are, so uh, we get our first line, which is correct. We also get some other completions and recommendations, so let's create a ba uh, an abstract animal class. We don't need it, so let's just accept and let's clean. Uh, the the rest of the completion and also yeah let's just create um, an abstract uh, let's just create an abstract uh, uh, localizer yeah you were here so class localizer that inherits ABC with abstract methods uh, but yeah let's just change this abstract method to accept message uh, which is string and also return Let's return string as well, right? All good. So now let's just create, we need to create a French localizer. Let's, uh, just, we need just to type there the signature of this uh, class, the class name, French localizer. So all good, uh, return message upper. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't look, yeah, the method uh, looks good. I mean, uh, we inherit the correct one we, we to, to, to have the concrete implementation, but we don't, need this line so let's just remove it for a while and first let's uh, create the constructor right in it self and in this constructor uh, as i said before we can we can create a dictionary create uh, diction, dic dictionary with, uh, uh, with the key key name pair of uh, translations right so let's call it okay let's just wait for the recommendation okay uh, self localized message hello bonjour world monde uh let's wait probably for some okay let's just type so something else so let's say instead of uh, world so we can ask uh, for the car and it's uh, it should be what you right so world it's uh, we, we still receive the uh, world let's just skip it we can, for instance, request for the plane. Plane, right? Okay, avion, oh, that's good. So I think it's enough. Let's just have three words predefined here. And right now, uh, we can write doc strings to be more Pythonic, right? And we don't need this uh, function. And we need to return 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 the translation by looking into, into the dictionary okay let's wait okay now all good so we return self uh, we just look into the dictionary which is self localized for us but uh, we can also change probably the type uh, the return type let it be optional right and we need to apply the same uh, here in our concrete implementation and in this case so let's just wait uh, probably it will change no okay but we can do like that um, return none if not found Okay, I'll be here. So uh, by default, we return none, and that's what we expected. 
Now uh, we need to have another uh, localizer. So let's uh, let's say that we need a Spanish localizer, right? Spanish localizer that also inherits the base one. Def init, correct. And now I think we'll get yeah, we'll get the same keys. Hello, current plane, and they are translations to Fran uh, sorry, sorry to Spanish. That looks correct to my understanding. And also we need another uh, another method. We need to implement localize the abstract method. And let's just write uh, a comment implement the abstract. method which is uh, localized in our case okay all good so we should mimic completely the same uh, logic as within the French one return none if not found yeah all good here yeah so now we have two localizers let's just have another let's just uh, create a factory method okay create a factory method that returns uh, sorry French localizer if type is French return return Spanish localizer and if type is uh, Spanish other otherwise race exception now let's just wait for the completion okay get localizer by type and also uh, correct return type if type is french we return french localizer let's just wait for the not for another completion if uh, else if the type is spanish so we return spanish localizer and we also raise exception so that was what we, what we expected with our request right and now uh, we probably maybe we can just create uh, lists with messages let's say that we would like to translate uh, plane oh, sorry plane car and let's say table right and then let's uh, create a French and Spanish localizer. Okay, now we have two localizers, right? Created already, uh, French and Spanish. But to be honest, like we can use a factory method. Let's uh, say that explicitly. Use factory method to get French and Spanish localizer. Yeah. Uh, I changed the prompt and right now we use the factory method to get it. So get localizer French, get localizer Spanish. And we can ask for the translation. Translate messages. Translate messages right here. Okay, for each message in messages, we, we ask for the French translation and also maybe we'll get a Spanish. Yeah, and also we get a Spanish one. Okay, that's great. Thanks a lot for watching this demo. We also, maybe with the next demo, we'll show you how to use cost suggestions to work, let's say, to generate a fast API server and so on. We also, we continue to work on improving the quality. Yeah, great, thanks, stay tuned.